Muy bien, hay hurgadores en el área. Quédense cerca y manténganse alerta. Hello everyone, this is Justin, aka Cursed by Beauty, uh, giving you some Last of Us Factions gameplay. And for this gameplay, we are going to be doing a 24 to 4 comeback challenge. Now, um, I know a lot of you guys, uh, uh, especially myself, big fans of a lot of YouTube channels that uh, have these comebacks, these enormous comebacks in The Last of Us. Um, and you're always wondering, how do they get themselves down uh, in this, constantly down in these comeback situations? Well, spoiler alert, they're all staged. So, basically, you have to go around collecting parts and killing yourself. <laughs> Just like this. <laughs> now, I could have obviously killed him, but we want to come back yeah. from an enormous deficit. Mm -hmm. Now with me is Murderboy88 of La uh, Last Man Gaming, uh, Lil Miss Esty of her YouTube channel Lil Miss Plays, and Possum from uh, Possum, Possum Gaming. And um, basically it's, you, we are, you work with two loadouts. The first loadout is just a parts hoarding loadout where you're just trying to get all the parts you can and the second loadout will be your purchasable offensive loadout and again right here <laughs> epic ragdoll just just going out there trying to get themselves trying to get ourselves killed I'm trying to get myself killed um and it's just the bullshit that you just have to do in order to have an epic comeback I'm sorry to break it to all you people who thought that a lot of these comebacks were genuine. I know it must be like finding out that Santa Claus wasn't real, but nonetheless, this is what happens. You just part whore, part hoard, rather, and then switch loadouts. At the end, so my loadout, I'm going to be I using a shotgun because I want to make this comeback very easy. <laughs> and again, just just trying to avoid uh, going up against the enemy until we hit boxes, getting those juicy, juicy parts, getting that juicy, juicy welfare, and this is. This is how it happens. This is what you do. This is what you do. And look at this guy. He was strategically waiting, aka camping. And he he's you can really see how these guys are are trying. Despite realizing that we I mean, they should realize that we are are not trying at all. I mean, when you see an enemy just walking up to you, not, not trying to hurt you, parts. that should uh, raise an eyebrow. But to these guys, uh, they, they're treating it like a real match, You're good. to their credit. And again, just avoiding confrontation. Just trying to get welfare here. And Murder Boy goes down as he should. Possum. Oh, I love this. Possum runs out of there, gets all their attention, so I get this box. I don't know if he did that intentionally, but it really helped. Look at that. Bombs made for me. Thank you. Oh my god, just so much stuff. That will all come. Look at this. I'm walking up to this guy. Why is he even trying? Look, I'm, give I'm giving myself up, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> he goes into his backpack, getting more stuff. Little do they know, the 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 that the, the shit that's gonna come their way. Because the thing about this is, if you're going down and constantly collecting welfare, and they are constantly winning and in the lead, the welfare system is so unbalanced that we will constantly be getting welfare throughout the remainder of the game 
while they will get probably only a few things from the boxes, like a napkin or a bottle of gin and a bag of chips, they won't really get much. <laughs> and, and it will really, really put them in a state of panic. Like right here, right here I was hoping he would use a shotgun on me, but instead he hits me with his 2x4, which was unfortunate. And I feel like at this point they're like, what the, what, what the fuck? What the fuck is this kid doing? That has to be what they're thinking. Why else are they crouched over contemplating my life? I was hoping you'd use a shotgun on me. So right here, I am switching to my shotgun offensive loadout. From Brawler 2, Explosion Expert 2. First aid 1. Second chance 1. And the shotgun. Now, of course, of course I could have used any other weapon, but I wanted this to be really, this to show how, how bullshit this can be. <laughs> Anyone with a shotgun with, with uh, lots of shells and then enough parts for armor with all the welfare in the world uh, can be quite uh, an unstoppable force. So, uh, not not really here to display any skill. Not that I have any. But, alright, so here we are. 24-4. Now, it is. this is when I get word it's time to come back. Now that we have radar, and they completely don't take us seriously. Possum's going ham with the bow. I take out this guy, because he's confused. It's like, but they weren't trying to kill! What is going on? And then this guy, I thought I could shoot shoot gun him, but he was already down. I just stole an execution. I don't know what his thought process there was, dropping a bomb. I guess he thought that was smart, but it was really stupid. Because he probably wasted one of the only throwables he'll have for the remainder of this game. And again, I'm going to hit this box. I'm still down by twi uh, 20 to 4. And I get some lovely, lovely more materials. And I have enough for armor, so I'll just put that on. A madman running around with four shotgun shells. Uh, three shotgun shells, rather. Armor. And a, a 2 by 4 with Brawler 2. And plenty of Molotovs. It's a, it's a very dangerous combination. Now I guess this is right here where the possum goes down. Unfortunately, such a such a tragedy. But then I just roll it to his ass. For, there he goes down and execute him because he's a bitch. <laughs> And that guy has a shotgun. I'm sure he ran out of shotgun shells because he's got no more parts. At this point, they are still up by a lot, people. And then I'm going to hit this lunchbox. Still giving me plenty of goodies. Some bottles of sarsaparilla. Rush in the pot to help Lil Miss and Murder Boy, but they seem Murder Boy seems to have it right there with the plenty of Molotovs at his possession and his disposal. And this guy is probably just freaking out. He doesn't realize that I'm coming behind him to uh, stab him in the butt. Oh my god. At this point it was it was just hilarious. And my, my heart was beating a little bit, but uh not too much when you have a shotgun and armor. <laughs> Still not enough for more precious, precious 
shotgun shells. Oh my god, still getting lots of goodies. Uh, this is when we realize that there's one guy, and because of the awful spawns at Billstown, the other guy just gets spawned by himself. And thank you, Radar, so we could just take him out easily, knowing where he is. Me? And this is unfortunately where Murder Boy goes down. And then from here, it it is a 2v10. And again, I'm still overpowered because I have five shotgun shells. And also, smoke bombs and bombs with Explosion Expert 2! Take that! Hmm. He goes down, he tries to rush. I... I kind of ruined this. Yeah, that guy should be dead. I should... I just short arm these. Got this guy. Right here is just a sequence of... Awful, uh, throwable throwing. Right here. Let me throw a smoke bomb off the ceiling. Bad. And he's in his fit of panic. He rushes into a place bomb that Little Miss places. Little Miss says, please don't steal my execution. And then I, in my, in my, uh, moment of, of anxiety, I didn't even hear her and I just stole it. So or maybe I did I hear it and I did it's steal your it. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't Except steal it. it purpose. Um, so here, I'm going to craft more throwables, if that isn't obvious enough to those who are watching this. And thanks to radar, we know exactly the the area in which they are located. And I have a samurai helmet, which means I am classy. So I'm just going to take off uh, this guy here, knowing that he is by himself. And I think he's behind the desk. No, he's not. He's further out. That doesn't get him. I'm, at this point, I'm just like, fuck you. I'm just going to shotgun no matter what range you're at. And look at that! Within shotgun range. <laughs> now right here, this is just a thing of beauty. A long range revolver down from that guy who thinks he's good. <laughs> and I'm just gonna secure the execution, maybe take another down. And this guy rushes me because I don't know why. <laughs> What happens here? Oh yes, this guy is weak. So down and down. And I still look at that. Still enough parts for more delicious armor. Clink. I'm gonna rush the box. Try to make some more shite. Hold on. Let me and Lil Miss plays being the aggressive Aussie that she is. She moves in on the guy, throwing everything she has. And then specters his ass, and that's the game. A 24 to 4 comeback. Completed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Are these Last of Us comebacks, uh, do have they lost some mystique to you? Let me know. Thanks for watching.